everyone, and welcome to another episode of Culinary Composition with me, your host, Chef JC. Tonight, I'm not going to be doing any kind of a meal. I'm going to show you how to make a sauce that I picked up along the way in my culinary career. And I really like this sauce because it is extremely versatile. You can basically put it on anything. You can put it on chicken. You can put it on pork, beef, veal. It goes pretty much with anything that you put with it. Okay. Um, it's going to be what's known as chateau sauce and how it works is you start with fresh mushrooms. Don't use that canned stuff, fresh. Slice them up, just basically simple slicing. You don't have to get creative or fancy with it, okay? As you know, I'm trying to do this with one hand, so I'll do my best here. Okay. All right, you get your mushrooms going. Toss them a little bit. Okay, started to pan off with a little bit of olive oil, very little olive oil because you're going to be adding liquid to this and all you want to do basically right now is sweat the mushrooms and bring them down. Now as they're starting to cook, we're going to add about two tablespoons of minced garlic, okay. I like fresh garlic, I mince it up and I put it through a uh, processor to try and get it so that you get that store brought look, okay. Again, one hand, it is not easy, but I'm doing my best here. Okay. Now, as I said, you work down these mushrooms along with the garlic. Oops. And you let them work their way down. Now, because it's nature of how quickly this is going to happen, I'm going to continuously film and not give you part one and part two. It's going to be one continuous shot and what you want to do is start getting some color on those mushrooms like you can see, okay? Keep it on a high flame. You want to try and constantly keep moving it so that it cooks all the mushrooms and not now one part of it's cooked and the other part of it is not. Now normally what you would do next is you would deglaze the pan with a cooking sherry or a marsala or any kind of a, a um, alcohol that will deglaze the pan, okay? I'm not gonna do that because I don't use alcohol, okay? So what I am gonna deglaze with is another liquid and this is part of the recipe along with the, uh, the alcohol but I'm just gonna use soy sauce to deglaze the pan with, okay? I'd say maybe, I don't know, six to eight tablespoons, something like that, okay? Just enough to give it a nice color and to work the liquid into the mushrooms. Now, once you let that heat up a little bit, the next step is the finishing step, I call it where you add what makes your sauce and that is so versatile that goes over chicken, it goes over pork, it goes over so many different varieties of meat. It's heavy cream, okay? I put in usually, mm, let's say about a quarter cup of heavy cream, okay? Now, in all dishes with cream, you wanna let it reduce, okay? You want it to come to a boil and it'll start to reduce and as it reduces it will thicken because he heavy cream will always thicken on its own the more heat you apply to it that's why sometimes when you're cooking it in a pot you got to be careful it doesn't boil over all right so basically that's the crux of the sauce that's good that's what it's going to look like when you put it over the meat that's going to look like you know what it's going to look like when you put it over anything even pasta you could do anything with this sauce it is so unbelievably versatile it stores very well you see the bubbling coming up now on the sides and stuff like that that's the heavy cream that's be beginning to reduce it's going to boil and then it's going to reduce down and that's going to give you the thickness okay and i'm going to sign off because this is getting to be a very long video and basically all you do now to finish this is top it with uh, some fresh parsley. So you get that nice green color in there and you have a beautiful sauce that goes on just about anything. The name of the sauce is called Chateau Sauce. Like I said, I picked it up along my culinary career and I wanted to share it with you. Okay, everybody, 
Thanks for joining me. Have a nice day, and I'll speak to you soon on Culinary Composition with me, your host, Chef JC.